or she told Trent that she <laughs> thought he was a murderer. But that's part of the story. She, and we're hoping that she we... was terrified when this guy came up to her <laughs> in the parking lot. That was great. Yeah. I love it. He so looks you'll... like a murderer, doesn't he? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Hey friends, we have a recap day for you, something we did last week that we're so, so excited to tell you all about. We've been just kind of holding this into ourselves because we wanted to do a special day dedicated to this specific story. So when we were in Nacogdoches getting uh, work done on our RV. The place where we did the $1.3 million dollar <laughs> RV video. Yes, at the, at the luxury RV maker. specific day. We were, we were there for several days actually um, because it took a while for our insurance to co come through but there was a couple that lives in Nacogdoches that also has a four travel took our, us and our kids out to lunch and then to a frozen yogurt place and then they had to they had to get out for yeah, an appointment. Yeah, we said goodbye and we were so we grateful goodbye. to them. We we had such a great morning with them. Yeah. And then, you know, we had just had all of that frozen yogurt I and so daddy. <coughs> So Graham just decided to join us. Graham's going to join us. Graham's going to join us. We'll see how short lived this is. <laughs> Okay. So our kids were all sugared up from having frozen yogurt, and we said, hey, let's go to a park. Yeah. And um, so we had some work to do. We had some work to do, um, and so we thought we'd just let the kids run around while we finished our work. And so we knew that there was a park that we had passed earlier right across the street, and so we just went there. And we pulled up our van and kind of sat right outside the playground area and watched the kids play while we did work on our laptop and um, he had some phone calls to make and stuff and we saw our kids playing with another little family there was um, a woman there with a little, it looked like five kids as well and you know I looked at them and thought oh there's another little family here at the park for our hey, kids mommy, to play with and I thought that was pretty cool Shh. but so anyways at one point Wrigley had needed a diaper change and so Trent brought him over to the car and was changing his diaper in the driver's seat when a woman came up behind him and said you know she was really kind of embarrassed and she was yeah. like can I she said um, excuse me sir can I bother you for some jumper cables and I'll pay you if you can give us a jump start give me a jump start on my car I was literally like I had a poopy diaper open at the moment, so I, I felt like I was a little rude, but I, I know it wasn't. I just was kind of just, well, hang on a second. I, I don't think I have any jumper cables, and I would never make you pay for something like yeah. that, you know? At any rate, finished changing Wrigley's diaper, you know, got him back to the playground with Camden, and I went and this lady walked away. She was back in her car sitting by herself at the campground, at the, at the parking lot at, the, at this, this park. Well, meanwhile, there was another family there. You mentioned that? Yep, so there was another family, and they and were just getting ready to leave. They were just getting ready to leave, but they had five kids, and it was just a mom, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And five kids playing with our kids. So I thought in my mind, I had just finished changing the diaper, sent Wrigley on his way with Camden, and I thought, I looked around for this family because I thought, I'll ask them if they have any jumper cables, right? So I found that mom, and I walked up to her car and waited until she was available and I just said, excuse me, do you have any jumper cables? To which she was super nice, I'll tell you later, she thought I was a murderer. <laughs> she did. <laughs> but so funny. I know. So anyways, she said, I think I might, let me look around. So she found some jumper cables and then she said, well, I gotta go pick up my husband at work and we'll be back to pick up the jumper cables. I'm like, okay, great. I'm, you know, I explained, I'm gonna go help jumpstart this lady's car. Get the jumper cables, go jump start this lady's car, and I could just tell she was having a rough day. She was at the park praying, I could tell, and her and her husband are evangelists, which was so amazingly crazy that we could minister to her and, and just, you know, have something in common there. Mm -hmm. But got her car jump started, and she was so grateful for that. She's like, Are you sure you don't want me to pay you? I'm like, No way, yeah. I, would, I would never, I would never want that. Well, just as I'm finishing up, 
this family comes back with the husband. The husband comes and he says, hey, I think you got my jumper cables. And I'm like, yeah, totally, man. Thanks so much. And I uh, appreciate you letting me you know, use those. And I said, hey, here's our CD. It's just, that's just so you can know more about it. So I gave that family with the jumper cables and I gave this other lady uh, our CD. I gave two CDs away at the park, which we often find is just amazing that we get to do that. Yeah, so, we do it everywhere we go. We, we give love, away CDs all yeah. over the time. We love it. So <laughs> at any rate, we go about our merry way. We finish up our, our uh, park time and we go onto the store. And then a half hour later... Half hour later, I get a... A Facebook message on my phone that pops up like a little you know alert thing and I look and it's from somebody named Katie Shockey I'm like I have no idea who this is so I click on it and it's a message from the woman that was at the park the mom of five the mom kids. of five kids that she goes uh, we just listened to your CD I'm the one you met at the park and it's so good your CD is so good she's like um, my husband's actually a worship pastor and we wish we could have come back and talked to you guys, but I have to actually get my husband to rehearsal for for his worship thing that they were doing. And right, but how unusually, right? I know Unusual. it was the... it was definitely one of those like <laughs> yeah. God appointed yes. meetings and that we we've had it. so many yes, times. Yes, that we talk about all the time. That's one of the main reasons why we live this life. Yes, is because we want to make ourselves available to the people and to the things that God would just do like this so spectacular yeah. so so I ended up messaging her back and saying well hey we're actually um, I noticed that her husband was the uh, worship pastor at a church in Livingston which was kind of right between um, Nacogdoches and Conroe where, where we were, we're going right and I said to her I said well do you guys have any Christmas services that are going to be happening like a candlelight service or something because we're actually going to be down at Lake Conroe and we would love to have a place to go for Christmas Eve or Christmas Day with our family. Yeah, um, we thought they're super go... nice and we'd love to see them again. Yeah, right? yeah. We, I mean, we I didn't, didn't know get she a... thought I was a murderer at that time. <laughs> so, Katie. <laughs> so they ended up saying, well, hey, actually this weekend coming up, we have a special Christmassy service that we're doing out in our courtyard at the church. And uh, it's just going to be the band, and we're going to sing some songs and have some hot dogs. Right. And they were like, would you guys like to come and, and sing? Yeah. And so we were like, yes. Yes, You totally. know, we love every opportunity that we get to come and, and share our music with people, with other churches. Um, and so we were really excited about that. Yeah. And so... So the, what you're about to see is uh, just a little bit of our time with the Shockey family and the First United Methodist Church in Livingston. Uh, we went to their church services that Sunday morning and then we did the music later that night. Or maybe I'm kind of bummed too though because we didn't get a whole lot of the Shockey family We didn't on get there. as much footage. Yeah. So you didn't get to see the part where she told Trent that she <laughs> thought he was a murderer. But that's part of the story. And she, we're hoping that She we... was terrified when this guy came up to her <laughs> in the parking lot. That was great. Yeah. I love it. He so looks like a murderer, doesn't he? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so you'll love this. Enjoy what you're about to see. Hey. Yeah. Truman's on the camera right now. Here we go. Okay. To the courtyard. So, we were invited to play at the United Methodist Church in Livingston, Texas at their Christmas event. So we're super excited about it. And Truman's following me along. And look at this neat courtyard that we got to play at. You want to put the camera out there? Show everybody what that looks like? Yeah. All right, let's walk this way. So the only thing is it's gonna be really, really cold. Temperature's supposed to be around 45 yeah. degrees and windy. Have it fun. is gonna be really, really cold. I think but it's cold. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Awesome, this is Truman. Hi Truman. <laughs> what did you make today at uh, church? A oh, snowflake no ornament. That, didn't you? Which one did you make? This is the one left. That one right there. Yeah. That's really good, Trims. I love how it catches all the light.
so um, this next part that you're going to see is is the the after church time. So we went to the church service. We actually didn't get any of this on footage, but we spent and had dinner with the Shockey family on Friday, uh, Saturday night, which was awesome. And then uh, we did the church service, which you just saw. And then we're about to do the music that we did. So we just got a few small snippets of us singing. We also wanted to highlight another artist that was there. Yeah, Linnell. Linnell. She, she was great. Yes. Young you, girl. She's got music on her Instagram. Yeah, and you can find uh, which her. Which is great. Uh, we put the link there uh, you, where you can find her music. So go ahead and follow her music. And um, what else did we do? The kids. Um, the kids. The kids did s'mores, yeah. and there was like a little live nativity thing. Oh, that was the Shockey family kids. Yes. They were the live They're, nativity. So if you see the live <laughs> nativity, that's the Shockey kids I love inside. That. Um, and we just hung out and we sang along some Christmas carols with the band, and it was really cold. Really cold. It was so cold. Oh my god. I mean, like, and so it was just bitter cold. <laughs> it was bitter but there cold. was this sweet lady there named Kathy, Kathy. and she was, she came with like this little like um, gift bag that had all these um, like just gloves, like the little knit gloves in them. Yeah. All of our boys got gloves from oh, Kathy, so and from they Kathy. were so happy. <laughs> and the church gloves. was just such a blessing to be a part of and, and, and enjoy time and fellowship with, so that was awesome. First United Methodist Church in Livingston, Texas. They asked us to come out and just be part of their outdoor Christmas event. It is really cold out, but this is such a beautiful church, and we're just so grateful to be a part of their services tonight. And man, I just I love this. Today for us, for the Walker family, was an opportunity to see the church, and our kids got to see the church just and be the church and, and just we're so grateful for this opportunity just to be with them and learn about them and so man, just awesome awesome people So we just want to say thank you to First United Methodist Church for um, just being so kind to this random family <laughs> that pulled in with an RV. They let us stay there. They let us stay there overnight on their church property, and it was just a wonderful, quiet stay for us, which we don't get often when we're boondocking. Usually, we're right. near Walmart's a loud place or something. So. So yeah, it was really nice and... Oh, we love the Shockey family. Yes. We love you guys. I can't wait to see you again. Yes, it's one of those relationships that we we know there will be a it's connection. It's a God thing, for yeah. sure. We'll stay yeah. connected with them. Yeah. And, uh, and so, and we just once again want to say thank you guys for watching our show. Continue to give us thumbs ups, lots of them, and subscribe. And let us know if you have any questions about Trent and Siobhan. And uh, remember... We can make the world a better place. I believe we can. Bye.